again crazy bag lady so it's wednesday morning a bit cloudy today and i think it's going to rain this afternoon i'm not sure but it's still quite warm which is good because it means you don't have to put your heating on or anything um but we're still struggling because it's a bit too warm but at least it's warm anyway so i've got so much to tell you but anyway to start with right so i've just done my makeup so this morning um i've actually got on so first of all i put this on my renewal serum which i've only got a tiny bit left and then i've used this and this so i have already been using this but i've only been using it at night and that's why i bought another bottle as well so that i could have a bottle upstairs and a bottle downstairs so i've used this this morning oh, i can't tell you how good it is it is absolutely amazing it just instantly soaks into your skin and seems to like plump it up a little bit and make you look younger i can't explain it it's just like invisible and it's not greasy or anything and it just sinks in it doesn't smell of anything it's scent free it's very very sensitive skin it's just bloody brilliant please get a sample and try it it's so good anyway so i've got that on and then obviously then i put my primer on and then i put my foundation on so this morning i've used my new serum foundation mixed with a bit of true color foundation like to mix them both together and then i've got my bronzer and stuff over the top so you'll see what my skin looks like in a bit and decide for yourself anyway so calendar of the day let's have a look so wednesday any mother could perform the jobs of several air traffic controllers with ease <laughs> that's so true isn't it <laughs> Well, as mothers, we seem to have to sort everything and do a million things at once. And even if you're ill, you just have to get on with it. <laughs> so that's very, very true. So anyway, my little Avon shop is down below. If you spend £23, you get free UK delivery straight to your door. And you can try samples of all this stuff. It's so, so good. Anyway, we need to get some breakfast and I've got lots to tell you. And look at me out i'm so pink <laughs> so i've got this gray t-shirt that i got last week in try shop for one pound fifty and i've teamed it with my pink trousers slightly a bit tight can't quite fasten them at the top um but i am trying to be good so hopefully my trousers will fit me again the joys of summer holiday munching so that's me outfit of the day and the blind shot so you can imagine how pink they are oh hello what do you think of my pink trousers are they a bit bright <laughs> breakfast this morning so for breakfast this morning we've got chopped banana and two little wheat to things right off to tackle the boring jobs then i need to ring my mom about my drama and then i'll tell you about it right obviously right okay so where do i begin we live in a shally bungalow um so and we're back onto fields we've already had mice in our attic before we've had a wasp nest in the attic as you know earlier on this year but last night me and my husband have been awake all night because we could hear scurrying above our heads my husband set some mouse traps and stuff but we've not caught anything and it's like there's something living in my roof and I don't know what it is and we could hear it running about so my friend said you should ring pest control which we're gonna have to do if we can't get to the bottom of it but we've been awake all night all night five o'clock this morning three o'clock this morning two o'clock this morning we could just hear things it was horrible you can hear things running about so whether it's mice or a squirrel because we've seen squirrels in the tree and stuff at the back of our house um yeah i wasn't going to vlog today because it's embarrassing to think you've got something living in your roof and then i thought and i'm so tired i literally feel like i'm dead <laughs> um but then i thought this is real life and we do share everything and i know some of you probably laugh at this it might cheer you up or if you're having a drama you'll know you're not the only one having a drama that i'm having a drama as well um so we hope we should be back from work about four ish so at four o'clock ish we're going to pull everything out of the attic so we've got a lot of christmas stuff in there we think it could be in the christmas section We've checked the right hand side, it's not there. So we think it's in the left hand side. Whether it's coming up through the walls, we've no idea. Oh, I just wanted to cry. So thank you for keeping me company today. Um, I probably could do drinking this. This is 15% wine that my neighbour gave me. That might be a good idea. I'm so tired. I feel like I need a nana nap this afternoon. <laughs> it's horrible. It was like being in a nightmare. You're just hearing this running across the roof so awful so 
because we're selling a bungalow, James's bedroom is above our bedroom because my bedroom's downstairs. So it's in between the floorboards. So it's underneath James and above us. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep you posted on that later. But anyway, so the time is now half past nine. So I'm really not sure what to do. I wanted to go charge shopping or something, but I'm so tired. I think I don't know if I can bring myself to to go then i was going to take a little dolly with me i thought perhaps take her to the shops for a bit of like socializing might do her good i really just don't know or i might just sit in the chair and do nothing <laughs> right third cup of tea of the morning so i think i'm going to plan i'm going to tidy up a bit this morning clear quite a lot of stuff out of my spare room so that we can get in there tonight to pull all the stuff out of the attic um, but at least there'll be some room to put the like Christmas stuff in my little spare room. So I think that's my next plan. Oh. Right, I've cleared some space. So, obviously, they're not just inside the door. You can open the door and you can't see anything. It's something that's going off inside the actual roof bit. So even if you went and stood in there, you can't see anything. My Christmas stuff is right, right, right down in this very deep corner. So tonight, obviously, that's where we're going to pull everything out. So for now, I've cleared a space. We're just going to forget about it for now. Right, on to something really, really lovely. So I was contacted by a lovely company called Forever Rose Forever. They are based in New York. And I did explain I was in England, but they said that wasn't a problem. Um, so I've done a little collaboration with them and they've sent me these lovely little roses. So they are Forever Roses. They last for a year. There is a discount code for my subscribers, which will be in the comment section down below. And I'm very, very excited to see this. I can't wait. Right, are we ready? So they arrived yesterday. Um, is it? So this tells you all about them. Rose Forever New York gives you all the information you need because obviously they do last for a year. Um, they're vegan friendly, so all the stuff that is made with is all natural, allergen free, so it won't cause you any trouble. And they come in lots of different colours. I'm just so excited to see it. So I went for the dark coloured one, but they do do lots of different colours and shapes. See this, make a lovely little gift somebody. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the box, so it says Rose Forever New York on it, and then inside is these beautiful roses. So, bear in mind, these have come all the way from New York, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous! Oh, they're really going to match my home as well. Wow. That's just so amazing. Ooh. So I'll go and put them on display and then we can have a look. Wow, they look so amazing. <gasps> I love them. I love them so much. I love the box. And I went for the ivory roses. So you can see they are real roses. Look at this. They're absolutely gorgeous. So obviously I'll put all the links in the comment section down below if you did want to have a look or if you want to treat yourself. There will be a discount code to get some money off. But what a lovely present. I mean, you could give these to somebody for Christmas, a birthday. And it's so special that the fact that they last a good year. So that's them in my kitchen, but I think I'm going to put them in my sitting room. Ooh, just a little bit fabulous. So I'm so pleased that I've been able to share this with you because they are absolutely gorgeous. I don't actually know if I prefer them in my kitchen. I just love them so much and the black velvet box is amazing. What do you think? Would you like some? They're gorgeous, aren't they? The roses are lovely. They've made me feel a bit better. They're so beautiful. Right, so I'm just sat near the door a minute getting a bit of fresh air, aren't we, Dolly? I'm having a bit of fresh air. Hey, it's really windy <coughs> and the sky is really, really dark. So I don't know if it's going to rain. But they did say rain later. It's just nice to sit here a minute and bit of peace and quiet. I'm trying to take my mind off everything. Ladies, just relaxing on the sofa 
where she's not supposed to be. Right, we've got to dinner time. So early dinner, if I can eat this, then we can go to trash shop. You can wait here and I'll go to trash shop and get away from this house and all the weird noises and things. <laughs> so I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes, mackerel and brine and three little cracker things off to enjoy lipstick of the day so lipstick of the day today is an avon lip gloss in gleaming glava this is one of my favorites i've worn this a lot over the summer it's been so nice really really love it it's wonderful i'm so tired you know when you've had no sleep look at my little lines around my eyes oh i don't think even avon cream can paint me up today <laughs> Anyway, so my washing's nearly done, so I think I'll wait for washing to finish, hang that out, then we'll go to our shop. Right. On a serious note, before we go to the show shop, before we hang the washing out, lovely Sarah's messaged me. I don't know if you want to read her comment. It's in yesterday's vlog, but Sarah's mum sadly died the other day, which is absolutely heartbreaking. It was very, very sudden, and she said that she'd died from a female heart attack. Apparently, and I didn't know this either, the symptoms of a female heart attack are different, so you don't get chest pains and stuff like the male sort of ones do. So I need to read up on it because it's something that I didn't know about either, and Sarah just wanted to highlight it to stop it happening from anybody to anybody else. So Sarah, you are so in my thoughts, honestly, I, I can half imagine how you're feeling because I lost my dad, but obviously I lost my dad to cancer, so it was we knew what was coming. Whereas when something happens suddenly, in a way it's so much harder, it's a lot harder to deal with because you don't know it's coming and they're suddenly just gone and you must be absolutely heartbroken. Oh, it even makes me want to fill up and I don't even know you, but it's just so sad. So I just want to say that you are in my thoughts, big, big, big hugs. I know everybody else in my comment section, they'll all send you so much love and I'm so sorry, but thank you for sort of highlighting this. So I'm going to read up on it as well about this female heart attack because we've all got hearts and it's something that we need to take care of. Obviously a lot of people do about cancer and stuff, but sometimes hearts don't get mentioned quite so much. So Sarah, thank you for highlighting this and just my condolences to you all. Big, big hugs, my darling. Just take it one, one day at a time and you are stronger than you think you are. Big hugs, my sweetheart. Right, okay. So everybody's asleep. Let's go. Back of the day. I've got a little knitted Chanel handbag. Keep me warm. <laughs> We've arrived. So let's go for a little rummage and let's see if it takes our mind off everything. Thank you. 
in the car it's so hot i don't know how hot it is but it's hot i can't believe how hot it is oh, right anyway so let's go home it's probably like a sleep while i feel a bit hot and like i've reached that point where i'm just asleep with my eyes open i don't want to go home right let's go home right i'm home so what did we buy i didn't really buy that much there was lots of things i liked but nothing i really loved and in the second changing room the light it's got like an energy saving bulb in it but it doesn't even light up so even though i took my sunglasses off and stuff i couldn't see it was pitch black in there come on children society get a better light right so anyway what did i buy so paranoid every time i hear a noise i think is it something in the roof <laughs> right so what did i buy i bought this which 
it didn't look very good when it was on the hanger but when you try it on it actually fits really cool um so it's sort of slanted and then you have this big frill and it just shows a little bit of shoulder but when it's all tucked in and stuff i thought it was really cool um and then i bought this because it was just so cute i don't know if i really like it or not don't know if i really like the color it's a bit borderline on like baby bit bleh, but i actually quite liked it in a certain way i love the little floofy bits on the sleeves very very cute and i think that was it it was a bit a bit boring they've all been a bit boring lately but i did enjoy being away from the house and just not being at home and having to worry about rats or mice or whatever's in my roof we'll deal with that later right the time has come to go on the bus bus school run let's go right so we're home from school tea's in the oven and the hub is in the attic and so far he's found absolutely nothing and that ladies and gentlemen is my tea and so far we've discovered nothing which is so spooky oh my tea was so delicious so it's now puppy playtime as you can see <laughs> So many toys. You do get a lot of toys out, don't you, my dear? You get a lot of toys out. Ooh, I'm totally loving my roses. Even Ruby thought they were absolutely beautiful. Everyone said how nice they are. So don't forget to check out their little website down below. They're absolutely gorgeous. Right, my dears. I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm completely worn out. So we spoke to a pest control man. He's told us to like set a trap and just see if we catch anything. But he seems to think it would be mice or rats and they're probably just up there playing about because we've got no evidence of a nest. He thinks that they're just coming in, playing about and then going back out. That They've probably got a nest in my garden somewhere or something. So yeah, so it's an ongoing thing. So let's hope that we get a better night's sleep and we don't hear anything in the night, which we probably will do. So anyway, thanks for being there with me and sharing this another down in life life's like a roller coaster one minute you're up here and then you're down here it's horrible so thanks for being there with me and hopefully we get to the bottom of this funny noises in the attic and stuff in the roof <laughs> so if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady my dogs have got their own instagram which is three fluffles my website is down below my little avon shop is also down below if you want to stress some of the skincare the makeup um moisturizer serum it's all down below and you can get samples of it all it's so good so i love you and leave you and i will see you tomorrow congratulations to my little jelly bag winners and big hugs to everybody that's having a hard time i will be thinking of you all bye